Hello everyone, this is Aditya Sai from Beyond Sports and I have been joined by Vicky Oswell, India's young rising talent from Indian cricket. He was part of India's 2022 Under-19 World Cup winning campaign in West Indies where the team defeated England in the final and the all-rounder returned with India's highest wicket kicker with 12 caps. Thank you so much Vicky for joining with us. Thank you, it's a pleasure. So, Vicky, uh, how was your experience of playing such a marquee event, I mean at such a young age, you were part of the Under-19 World Cup, it's still a big tournament, there are a lot of eyeballs on you. And especially under the guidance of stalwarts such as BBS Lakshman. So, how was the whole experience? Oh, it was great because it's for, it was a dream come to moment for me. It was a dream for playing at uh, playing playing for India and playing at such a young age. It was more than just a dream for me. So, it was just a moment uh, for me that I, I had to cherish. You know, go out there, express myself, give my hundred percent for India, and it came off really well. I became the highest wicket taker for India, and we even won the World Cup. That's more important. Winning is more important. And I think everything, you know, just went really well. And with the guidance of U.S. Lakshman sir, Sairaj Bhautule sir and Rishikesh Karitka sir, it all really paid off really well. So it was a really good experience. So, Vicky, when a youngster plays such a tournament, I mean, even any cricketer, not even only a youngster, he or she uh, learns a lot from his uh, about his own game. Uh, as an individual, also they grow. So, what was your that big learning that you had from the uh, tournament? Obviously, India won. That was a uh, icing on the cake. But then... You must have also feel that this part of my game has improved a lot after the whole campaign. I think the mental part of the game has improved a lot. Being you know more confident, backing yourself, up, backing your abilities, and giving yourself that extra bit of confidence while going in the, playing a match. I think that part has improved a lot because I feel that when you play at the highest stage, the mental part of the game is really more important. I feel that that has improved a lot and. Even the coach has been guiding me about that, that you should work more on that. And I feel that after that tournament and even the IPL, I felt really about the mental part of the cricket improving. And straight from the under-19 World Cup campaign, you were a part of the Delhi Capitals camp. So, there were also uh, some big players, Ricky Ponting himself, Rishabh Pant and everyone. So, being a part of this campaign also, just being a part of an IPL franchise at such a young age. So, one can learn a lot even outside the field. I mean, the learnings are pretty much more offside the field rather than on the field. So, what was that your takeaways with your interactions with Ponting and, and the likes? Same, just like you said, you know, our, uh, being off the field, how you are more disciplined, you know, how do you work on yourself when you are off the field is very, really, really important, which, which I got to learn in the IPL as well. Yeah, I, mean, I had interactions with Ricky Ponting, Rishabh Pant and Akshar Patel. And uh, yeah, I got to, uh, got to learn a lot of new things, especially from Akshar Patel because being him and himself a left arm spinner, I used to interact him with a lot. He, he uh, gave me useful tips uh, from him from his side that being being a professional cricketer for more than 12 years, he's been playing for IPL more than 12 years. So his experience came a lot for me. You know, he helped me a lot and I really got to learn a lot from him. Vicky, as a youngster, how does one prepare for all the three formats? Because there are a lot of there's a lot of cricket happening at every level. I mean, there are all three formats being played simultaneously. So it becomes a bit difficult. So, how does one uh, prepare himself or herself for that and so that they can play for the national team? I think, you know, it's more than, uh, it's more of one match at a time. You know, you should just prepare yourself for a one game, you know, for the next game, then the next game, then the next game. You should not think about that, I have to play these many matches or these many matches. It should just be that, yeah, it's the, it's a white ball season now, so I should be focusing on the next game and the preparation for the next game. That's it. So, you don't find anything difficult, uh, Tran? the transition from a white ball to a red ball or vice versa? I think, yeah, there, there are some difficulties, but yeah, at the same time, it's like, you know, the preparation comes under, you know, uh, comes under uh, this thing, you know, the more you're prepared, the more better you will be. So, if I'm playing white ball, then obviously I have to prepare for white ball. Then I'll, I'll practice according to white ball cricket, I'll manage my plans and I'll practice accordingly. If I'm playing red ball, then I'll practice accordingly. That what are my plans, what are my lines, what are my lengths, and I'll practice accordingly. So, the preparation comes under uh, a real consideration. That if you're prepared well, then you have no problem facing any uh, any kind of situation. Maybe red ball, maybe white ball. Doesn't matter. The preparation matters the most. So, how you prepare yourself uh, really matters. And Vicky, lastly, before I just sign off, I would like to ask that uh, India have also produced a lot of all-rounders. Kapil Dev uh, has set the standards really high. Then we have also got Yuvraj Singh. Now we have Hardik Pandya. There have been a lot of superstar all-rounders in world cricket. Who's that one all-rounder who really inspires you? Someone who, whose on-field heroics you, heroics you want to emulate on the field? You can name an Indian or even anyone from... No, I, think, 
I think Ravindra Jadeja is the one because being a left arm spinner, I see him playing for India for so many years, consistent with his bowling, his fielding and batting as well. If because he's a he's a kind of player who contributes in all of his departments, which is most importantly, which is most important thing for any any team that you are being a spinner, he can contribute in the field as well. He's a magnificent fielder, and at the same time, he's improved his batting a lot as well because he can score big runs, he can field as well, and he can bowl as well. So I think that he is the one I am looking forward to, and yeah, he's a he's an inspiration for me. Thank you so much, Vicky, for joining with us, and wish we wish you all the best for the future. Thank you, thank you so much.